<clears throat> this is drum major video number two, and it's called Patterns. So before we work on patterns, let's review the basics. So as you begin, start by stretching out, and then level out your hands to find your ictus, and then start working on your flick, and bounce your hand up like it's coming off of a hot stove, and then let your arms naturally move upward. Now, an important part of this motion, doing ones, and just going up in your pattern, is the connection of your whole arm. So your whole arm needs to be working as a unit. But in order to make sure of that, you need to think about all the different joints on your arm. So first is your shoulder. With your shoulder, you can make your arm move up and down like this. With your elbow, you can make your arm move up and down like this. And with your wrist, you can make your hand move like this. So when you're conducting, you want to use all the joints together. Because if you just use the shoulder, it looks very stiff. If you just use the elbow, there's very little depth. And then if you just use your wrist, you look like a little T-Rex. So <clears throat> to put all these together, you want to mainly use your shoulder to rotate your arm and then let your elbow move as well. And then only use your wrist for the flick at the bottom at your ictus. So you don't want to look like this. And you don't want to look like this, but you just want to find a comfortable spot <clears throat> where all your joints are working together in unison. Now we're going to work on patterns. The first pattern we're going to do is 2-4. So go out to your ictus, and 2-4 looks like this. So in order to do 2-4, the first thing you need to do is go out from your ictus, and then back up and down. One, two, stop. One, two, stop. And with your flick, you want to make sure that it's only hitting one point, and that's right at the bottom of your ictus, right there. And you want to make that as snappy as possible. One, two, out, up. One, two, out, up, and stop. Now the next pattern we're going to do is three, four. It looks like this. One, two, three, stop. So the motion for 3-4 is in, out, and up. In, out, and up. In, out, up. In, out, up, and stop. Now the next pattern we're going to do is 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four looks like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and stop. So the movement for 4-4 four, four, is up, in, out, up. Up, in, out, up, and stop. Up, in, out, up. Up, in, out, up, and stop. And for 4-4 four, four in particular, with this uh, accounts for any motion when you're going in with both hands, you want to think like you're opening up for a big sandwich. So as your hands go in, you get a good curve in between both of your hands, right at your pointer finger and thumb. One, two. It's like you're about to give yourself a good sandwich. One, two, three, four. Stop. Now the next pattern we're going to learn is five, four. It looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. So you can do a 5-4 in many ways, but the way that I do it is to go out like this, 3, 4, and up. So it's out, out, in, out, and up. Out from the ictus, and then bounce again, and then go in, then bounce out for beat 4, and up for beat 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. Now, six, four, you can do in many ways, but this one way is similar to five, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So with similar to five, four, six, four starts by going out twice, but then it goes in twice, out again, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
out, out, in, in, out, up, out, out, in, in, out, up, and stop. Now, there are other patterns you can use for more mil militaristic styles and also that are very useful to use in fast uh, tempo music. So one of them for 4-4 four, four looks like this. So every time you do this, you return to your ictus and it's one, two, three, four. Down, in. One, two, three, four. Down, in. So that's 4-4 four, four in, in a militaristic style. 2-4 in a militaristic style looks like this. One, two, one, two. In, in, one, two, one, two. In, in. Now I'll show you what 3-4 in a militaristic style looks like. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Out, out, down, two, three. One, two, three, one. So for that pattern, it's a little different. So you go down for beat one, out for beat two, and up for beat three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Like you're outlining a right triangle. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then you can also create five, four out of combining the two, four and three, four militaristic styles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now that you have all these patterns to work with, it's important to know how to cut off with them. So for 4-4, four, four, this is what a cutoff looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4, and stop. So in slow motion, 1, in, flip your hands, out and around, and then stop back at your ictus. 1, 2, 3, 4, and stop. This is what a 3-4 cutoff looks like. 1, 2, 3, and stop. 1, 2, 3, and stop. And 2-4. Two, 1, 2, stop. 1, 2, stop. Thanks for watching.